So it's an anterior interosseous artery, but it passes below to the extensor retinaculum. What about its continuation here in the you know lower one third of the front of forearm? So the continuation of this anterior interosseous artery in the front of forearm in the lower one third is sometimes called by some authors as median artery. And you know it participates in a cruciate anastomosis here. Consider this to be a deep palmar arch. And this deep palmar arch gives a recurrent branch which passes below the flexor retinaculum to reach into the forearm space of perona. Then from the two sides also, from the radial artery, transverse branch and from the ulnar artery also, a transverse branch reaches here to participate in this anastomosis. And these are called the palmar carpal branches from radial and ulnar artery. This one is recurrent branch from deep palmar arch. And this is palmar carpal branch of ulnar artery. And this is palmar carpal branch of radial artery. So what you're finding here is a cruciate anastomosis at the front of the wrist in the forearm space of perona.